Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe if you resonate with me. Scorpio, uh, this is gonna be good for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements, or if you're cross-watching, you can see if these messages resonate with you as well. Since this is a general love reading, it will not resonate with every single person watching, so just keep that in mind. And you'll know if it resonates, so don't try to force it. If it doesn't fit your situation, it's not your message. Um, check your other placements, okay? So right before right before I started the reading, I was getting a song. Um, and what's interesting is it's, I had to look it up because I couldn't remember who it was by. Um, and it's Here We Go by Trina. So um, some of you may have a message in that song. Some of you are dealing with someone who this is like an on and off again situation. And it's like you, you are tired of going in these repetitive cycles with this individual. Um, some of you are in like a friends with benefits situation with this individual. And I'm hearing used. So you could feel used or you could feel disrespected or you could feel like you're, you're worth more or... Um, this person may just not be offering you what you want. They may be dragging their feet. I feel like you could be dealing with somebody who has options, who has choices, but they're not really making a choice, right? Um, I feel like for some of you, this has been going on for a really long time, okay? Divine timing is here. And I feel like at times this could get toxic because for a lot of you, you feel like this is a true love connection, but you're just not getting to the space of where you want to be. For some of you, for a small percentage of you, you could be dealing with somebody who you met at work or there's some type of like office affair situation going on. Okay. So uh, that's for some of you. For some of you, you're definitely dealing with somebody who is operating out of ego and they let pride or fear get in the way of you guys having anything real. They kind of run from your connection is what I'm getting. But what's interesting is I feel like you um, see this person or view this person as such a catch. Like this could be your person. Some of you are like replaying these events over and over in your head and it may be getting a bit toxic because you're doing that. Um, maybe trying to release an ex or thinking about an ex. See, but this person isn't opening up to you. This person uh, may, have been done, may have done something deceptive there is a situation here with somebody having options. So you could be going with somebody or this could be your energy. Take it how it resonates. Somebody here has options. I feel like either you or the person you're dealing with, someone here has a hard time opening up because they feel like uh, there's feelings of not feeling safe or not trusting. So either you're dealing with somebody that you don't trust or this person may have a hard time trusting you. There is a strong attraction though, like the chemistry is not the problem. There's a strong chemistry, strong attraction. It's just trust is what I'm getting and offering something stable. Opening up. Yeah, opening up to the connection. I feel like um, somebody here is really trying to remain in control of their feelings even. Somebody could be trying to remain in control of their feelings, see? And first card out is trust and it was in reverse. So I feel like for some of you, you could be a, in a friends with benefits situation with an individual who just doesn't trust the situation or doesn't trust you. Maybe you have choices, maybe they have choices, but there's something here with trust. <laughs> but there's an energy here of someone really wanting to give this a chance. It's like, but running out of patience for this to come together. Okay. Um, there's definitely a need for you guys to honestly discuss your feelings. Some of you have a newer connection coming in or a new start to a connection that you've been waiting for is here, but there's a need to really open up and talk about it or open up and talk about your feelings. You or this person release the need to control and really open up because right now it's currently not being reciprocated or the, the energy or the effort is not reciprocated. One of you is giving more than the other person. You could be at a distance from this person um, for some of you. There's definitely an energy here of trying to follow your intuition when it comes to trusting the situation or trusting this person. And again, I feel like there's a lingering X here. 
There's a lingering X or lingering energy that needs to be released. Because maybe that has something to do with your trust, the trust factor in this new connection or in this connection with this other person. Maybe you don't trust it because of past experiences, maybe because of an X, or maybe you're still thinking about an X. And there's a need to really release that energy if you want to try to make this work. Because there is a potential here. If you are dealing, if this is resonating with you and you're dealing with a friends with benefits situation that you or your person may want to take to the next level, but you have a hard time trusting due to stuff that you've been through in the past, that friends with benefits situation has potential to be something so much more. I feel like you guys may be in a space of trying to take it slow. Um, you're not trying to make any hasty decisions. You you want to open up, but you hold yourself back. And I just heard, and for a good reason. A lot of you just don't want to get hurt. Okay. Yeah, you're trying to protect yourself. It's a, a protection mechanism. But the time has come for you to clear your energy, right? The time has come for you to clear your energy and release this person from your past. Scorpio. Scorpio. Hmm. I feel like I'm getting like you may be like digging or looking for something that this person is doing or that's the energy of like not trusting or you're just like waiting for this person to mess up is what I'm getting which is interesting. Scorpio. Some of you are waiting on something. Maybe waiting for an ex, waiting to release this ex. There's an energy here of waiting. Yeah, because I'm I'm thinking of the lyrics of that song. Here we go again. Here we go. Here we go again. Some of you may have someone from your past returning. Um, and you could be pushing away a newer connection to try to make that work, to try to give that a chance, or you've been waiting for this person to come back for a new beginning. Yeah. See cycles. You've been in many cycles with this individual Scorpio. What can you tell me for Scorpio? <laughs> you know, it's funny it's when I say that repetitive cycles so it's like you and this person have been in a lot of repetitive cycles you've known each other for a long time um on and off again relationship is what i'm getting there could be anxiety and worry surrounding this connection mm -hmm. especially if you got ghosted some of you may have ghosted somebody or you straight up got ghosted and that connection was really toxic you got ghosted because this person's trying to reflect the lack of your self-worth and you're needing to heal that part of you. Um, yeah, you could be addicted to this connection to a certain extent. You are the person you're dealing with. There's like an obsessive um, energy here. Okay, let's see. Scorpio. You could be dealing with someone who's married or in another commitment here. Or this could be somebody that you were married to. Hmm. Expect a gift or a romantic date. You and this person could be in separation currently. Scorpio. Your person has fears of experiencing true intimacy. Uh, you may feel like this person led you on or gave you false hope. See? You, somebody here is waiting for this to come back together because you feel like this could be the kind of love that you've been dreaming about or that you, that you see the end all be all with this person. So some of you are waiting for this or your person. There's definitely a need to compromise here in this connection. Meet you halfway or you meet them halfway. There are challenges here. Let's see. But the intensity of this connection is really strong. Someone may run from it because it is so strong. I feel like there's something here with the way you and your person communicate. You guys could have a lot of differences, but the differences that I'm getting in this connection is the way that you guys communicate. If you guys want to make this work, you have to learn how to communicate. And I don't, 
I don't really know exactly what they mean by that, by that, but you guys may communicate differently or um, may take things the wrong way, the way that you guys do communicate. But you guys need to learn how to communicate effectively if you want to make this work. There is a very passionate connection here. Or there was at one time, is what I just heard. Your person may um, feel like a loss of control when they're with you, and that scares them. I feel like you may feel like this connection is completely lost, or your person may feel that way. Someone could have cheated here. I was getting that earlier. You could, Someone could have cheated in this connection. Hmm. You could have been cheated on, and that's why you have trust issues, Scorpio. Your person has a lot of fears, rejection, um, wounds that they haven't healed from, and they're not really in a space of being willing to face them right now. Okay. Okay. So, let's clarify with some tarot. Yes. Yeah, look at this, Six of Cups. Somebody from your past is returning. Um, some of you may be taking things to the next level. I just saw the Hierophant. You could be dealing with a Taurus or um, some of you could be thinking about like a proposal or a commitment between you and this person. Lots of emotions here, lots of feelings. I just heard like all up in your feels. What's that Usher song? Um, I'm getting, I'm hearing another song with you guys. Uh, Nice and slow. Have you guys heard? You guys probably know what I'm talking about. That's a good song, but that's the song I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, some of you there's going to be a date um, here, a reunion, uh, a date. All right, so on your person's mind, see. They, they have confusion right now. Somebody has options. They're very tempted to reach out to you. Yeah, to move towards you. Could be at a distance. It could be travel involved here. This person's very tempted to move towards you. They're thinking about it a lot. Fantasizing, I'm getting. This person's fantasizing about you. Hmm. They're releasing a burden or they're thinking about it. Mm -hmm. And moving towards you with some type of apology or offer. Moving things forward. Could be done with the Libra. I just saw justice. All right. How do they feel towards Scorpio? How do they feel? Damn. See, somebody here is trying to restrain themselves and the high priestess. Holding back. This person holds back a lot on how they feel towards you. But they feel a very strong connection with you, but they hold it in. <laughs> Leo, uh, Pisces. This ending was really painful for them, but they hold that back. I feel like you wouldn't know that, that the, the ending is as painful for them as it truly is. All right. How do they view you, Scorpio? How do they view you? Hmm. They view you as heartbroken too, but walking away from a situation, going towards something new, detached, cold, distant with the king of swords here at the bottom. Yeah, defensive, standing your ground, pushing them away. What is that? Eight of swords. But they view you as um, you're stuck in your head thinking about it too, right? But not really taking action. You're not fighting with them. You're not really communicating with them. You're releasing is how they view you. What's on your mind when it comes to this connection, Scorpio? What is on your mind, Scorpio? Mm -hmm. If you're dealing with a fire sign, you're thinking about this fire sign. This person's on your mind. Aries, Leo, Sag, Queen of Wands. You're thinking about um, the passion between the two of you. Um, you're th Some of you feel like you have this soul contract with this individual. Wow, you guys, look at this. King and Queen of Wands. Um, yeah, some of you f are thinking about like this could be a twin flame connection or you feel a very strong desire with this person. You get, you're you thinking a lot about the passion between the two of you. There is a very passionate connection here. You're, you're thinking that this person can match your energy. 
um, this is your person, but there's a lot of old wounds here in this connection. So you're thinking a lot about the disappointments that happened in this connection in the past. How do you feel towards this person? Could be dealing with an Aries, the Emperor. Why is the Emperor here? How do you feel towards this person? You feel like things didn't go the way that, that um, you wanted them to or how you planned. This didn't work out the way that you wanted it to. Some of you feel like things moved too quickly. But I feel like there's definitely an energy here of you thinking about this person too. Like both of you guys think about each other. But there is a painful ending here. How do you view your person? <laughs> you view your person as waiting for some type of uh, new beginning, waiting for communication, um, waiting results. You view them as Ten of Cups. You view them as a wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, somebody you could have this um, relationship with, somebody you can have a solid new beginning with. But there's an energy here of waiting for something. What's the mutual energy? <laughs> You guys, <laughs> the Hierophant and the Two of Cups. Okay, so again, you could be dealing with Taurus, but you don't have to be, right? This is an energy of you guys having a divine partnership, right? Um, there is potential here for this to turn into a commitment, something more. But there's work being done behind the scenes here. It's like both of you guys want a new beginning with the Ace of Cups here. You guys are in separation, yes. But not all as it seems is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing stalemate. So you guys may be at a stalemate. No one here is really taking action for this new beginning. But the mutual energy is you guys being in separation but wanting somebody needing to take that initiation. But it being um, drowned out by fear. What is the blockage coming together in a missed opportunity? Because nobody's taking action. No one's really pursuing or taking action. There's a very strong energy of holding back. Yeah, holding back. On a commitment. <laughs> Due to some type of deception or feeling betrayed. Somebody needing to make a decision. Yeah, making that final call. Somebody here is self-sabotaging. And again with the distance, defensive. So at a stalemate conflict. I feel like definitely Scorpio in your outcome, you guys are going to remain at this stalemate energy because nobody's really taking action. It's just a lot of thinking, but not really pursuing, not really taking action. There's conflict. There's being at a crossroads, but self-sabotaging, wanting to make a decision, wanting to take action, but holding back. So that is what I'm seeing there. Let's see, what would this person say to you? <sighs> Letting you down was the worst decision I ever made. I want what's best for you. I feel like you're on the, the other side of my every breath. I'm trying to bury my love for you. <laughs> it's too scary to admit that I'm in love with you. I should have believed in you. You always had my best interest at heart. Scorpio. I judged you too harshly. Your silence feels safer to me. I don't want to get hurt again. See, there's an energy here of someone not wanting to open up and get hurt again. I feel your presence every day. Would I be rejected if I contacted you? Do you still want me? I'm afraid to open up to anyone. So, yeah, that is what I'm seeing for you guys, all right? I hope that brought you guys some clarity. Um, let me know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.